Good morning, beautiful star people. Uh, today is August something, and <laughs> I'm drinking my juice. I'm doing a cleanse sort of thing. Um, and I am doing an energy reading for the collective conscious. Um, so today we are going to be using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. And I'm going to pull a card out of here, which I've already pulled actually, um, for our topic of today. If you like this video, please give it a like and hit a, and comment and do all the things. Share if you felt it was helpful. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can head over to my Instagram, Soul Journey Magics, and um, purchase a personal reading on my Etsy site through my Instagram. Um, all the information you'll need is in the description down below, aside from the live feed, of course. All right, so today's subject is compassion. And I thought that was really, really lovely. So compassion is our topic for today. So let's see, our main energy around compassion is serenity. Interesting. So typically this would be the hermit card. So I feel like a lot of us are working on our personal compassion right now. We're working on compassion towards ourselves, um, compassion maybe towards our spiritual practice. Um, we're really going inward when it comes to this topic. Um, I think a lot of us are having a hard time, you know, putting that compassion outward um, to the people that we feel disconnected from, whether it be political or, you know, the neighbor you don't like. It can be very hard, but I think a lot of us are trying to focus inward when it comes to compassion. What's going to help us is the Ace of Swords. Interesting. So the Ace of Swords kind of has to do with, I call it like kind of cutting the bullshit card. So I feel like we're kind of getting to a point where we don't really have any other option. We're kind of realizing like, wow, I need to really go inward. I need to get more self-loving. I need to really remove the things that are kind of getting in the way of me not being compassionate towards myself. Like what are the things that like, what are the self, you know, inward talk, speak that um, things that I'm not, you know, really being kind to myself. And of course, as we start being more compassionate to ourselves, we are gonna be more compassionate outward, which is really, really lovely. So what's really hindering us is the Eight of Wands. And I actually pulled a second card with this as well, which was the Seven of Swords. Interesting. So the Eight of Wands is about, you know, things happening really fast. So I feel like what's hindering us is we don't feel like things are going fast enough. We don't feel like, you know, maybe, you know, we're working through the shadow, we're working through all this stuff and we feel like we've still only moved a few inches. And, um, and then with the Seven of Swords, I think a lot of us are really maybe like consciously or unconsciously, we're really, you know, just doing what, you know, other people want us to do still. Like, I think we really, you know, as much as we're really trying to move towards a more self-loving space and things of that sort, um, we're still really in the paradigm of, you know, a lot of these belief systems. So I think it's really time to, you know, again, what's going to help us is the uh, Ace of Swords. So really, really delving deeper and deeper and deeper into what really does feel compassionate to me, what really is self-loving, um, and really, really diving deep into what that means for us personally. Um, the main energy for this is strength, which is lovely. It means that we definitely have the capacity to be compassionate, not only to ourselves, but to others. Um, we really have this, we do have, you know, the strength. You know, a lot of us look at especially, you know, like the political leaders and things of that sort, maybe the people who are destroying our planet, we're like, I, I can't, I can't. Not that you have to care about that person, but, you know, love them as a human being. It's like, I just can't do that. And it's like, no, you have the strength to, you have the capacity, you have the whole universe inside of you. You can see that person as another you and you can, you can show them compassion without having to hang out with them every day. And the other card is Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups is about spirituality, it's about creativity, it's about being present with your own emotions. So that's really good to acknowledge as well because within this strength, we have to come from the strength of the heart. You know, the mind is very fickle, the mind is very ego-based. And so when we come from the heart, when we come from our emotions, when we come from it with a maturity and a love and an acceptance and a compassion, we can give more fully to the planet and to ourselves. And what we're really struggling with right now is the Akashic Records. So I really think that for us, it's really, you know, what's making it difficult for us to feel compassion and connected and oneness 
is the fact that we're still buying into the human roles. Now, of course, we are in the human roles because they're important. We're here to play this out. It's very, very important. But we have to have the awareness of the full connection. We have to have the awareness of the full picture so that we can see the other as ourselves. And that's where you can, that once you see that within that other person, that's when compassion becomes second nature. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Please comment down below if this resonated with you. Again, if you would like a personal reading, you can head over to my Instagram or Etsy shop, Soul Journey Magics with an S. Um, I'd love to see you over there. Um, I love getting, giving personal readings. It's, it's really, really fun. Um, and I, I love connecting one-on-one -on -one with someone. Um, I will be posting this on all my regular platforms and this will be, this live feed will be up for 24 hours in case you didn't get to see the whole thing. I love you guys so much. Many blessings. Namaste. And don't forget, it's all about the soul journey. Bye. Oh, thank you. Mwah. <laughs> love you guys.